Today, we're tackling a critical topic, climate change acceleration. While this is a warning of what is expected to happen decades from now, more recent data reveal we aren't waiting that long, and climate change is already a reality. From extreme weather events to rising sea levels, everything we have already seen and will see in the coming years, scientists around the globe are warning the effects of climate change are coming much faster and harder than previously anticipated. But what's driving this acceleration, and what does that mean for our future? So if you're ready for a deep dive into one of the most important issues facing our world, let's dive right in. Some important new studies show that a couple of things are driving climate change acceleration faster than we anticipated. Just last week, the IPCC, or Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, published its most alarming report yet, warning we could pass the 1.5 degrees Celsius warming threshold far earlier than previously thought, most likely by the early 2030s. Without immediate and drastic action, the world will face increasingly more severe consequences, according to scientists. Rising sea levels, a looming crisis. Melt at unprecedented rates from global warming, polar ice caps, glaciers are melting, rising sea levels now impacting coastal communities. Sea levels were rising on average at about 3.3 millimeters per year in 2024, but new data finds the rate accelerating. If Greenland's ice sheet melted completely, sea levels would jump by 20 feet, and low-lying nations like the Maldives are potentially obliterated. Major cities such as New York to Tokyo could experience severe flooding and habitat displacement. Rising seas don't just mean we lose beach property, they contaminate freshwater supplies, destroy agriculture, and cause massive displacement, turning people into climate refugees all over the world. Extreme weather on the rise. One other alarming sign of climate acceleration is the increase in extreme weather events. That is, hurricanes, wildfires, heat waves, and droughts are becoming more frequent and more severe. California is seeing record-breaking wildfire seasons, as are parts of Australia, while the Atlantic hurricane season has been one of the most powerful we've ever seen. Stronger storms because warmer air contains more moisture, and faster spreading fires because warmer air enables symptoms to dominate. The point is that this isn't some far off scenario, but it is happening right now in the form of the recent El Nino event, which has made global heat even worse. These disasters also have a huge economic toll on countries, costing billions and squeezing emergency response systems. And scientists warn they will only get more frequent and more powerful as climate change progresses. Biodiversity loss at an alarming rate. Biodiversity is another casualty of accelerating climate change. It's the sixth mass extinction and we're in the middle of it, largely due to human activity and climate change, scientists say. Many species are on the brink thanks to habitat destruction, rising temperatures, and pollution. Oversized coral reef is rapidly vanishing because of global ocean warming. New research finds that if things continue as they currently are, half of the world's coral reefs will be gone by 2050. Also under siege are tropical rainforests, home to some of the world's richest biodiversity, as they are lost to deforestation and climate-connected change. Not only do animals and plants suffer when you lose biodiversity, but so do our economies. Losing biodiversity impacts ecosystems on which we depend for agriculture, fisheries, water supplies, and more. Protecting these ecosystems is of utmost importance because they help regulate the climate and are essential to life on Earth, scientists say. Feedback loops, worsening the problem. Feedback loops explain why climate change is speeding up. These are sort of processes that tend to reinforce themselves in kind of an amplifying way for them. One example is when Arctic permafrost melts and releases methane, which is a greenhouse gas more powerful than carbon dioxide. Though warming caused more permafrost to melt, it also sped up the release of this methane, which in turn warmed further. As is the case with polar ice melting, the less sunlight it reflects back into space, the faster ocean warming occurs. Once triggered, these feedback loops are extremely difficult to reverse. And so, scientists warn, will help lock the planet into a cycle of warming. It's for this reason exactly that we need to act quickly to stop these loops from getting out of hand. What can be done? Large, undeniably fast action is needed now to try to slow the pace of climate change. Scientists say that even as important as individual actions of a tiny minority of people are against such a massive problem, they simply aren't enough. The next few years are critical and scientists argue, we have the technology and we have the understanding of what has to be done, but we need to move fast because we run the risk of going over the edge without taking any swift action. The message from scientists is clear. We're in uncharted waters and we know that climate change is accelerating and it's happening faster than we thought it would. The ramifications would be great and unfortunate. However, if we do something now to slow this acceleration, we can still save our planet.